from RSC Technologies. With, uh, we deal with the energy efficient and uh, uh, compact high performance compute solutions. Um, <clears throat> my talk is organized as following. I will shortly introduce RSC. Uh, then I will uh, speak about past and ongoing projects, uh, what we have done. And then I will talk more about our technology, what we uh, offer. Uh, <clears throat> RSC Tornado and RSC Petastream. RSC Petastream is a massively parallel uh, architecture and I will speak more about the performance characterization of that. Uh, our focus <coughs> since the establishment of the uh, RSC in 2009 is the energy efficient and at the same time compact compute solutions. Sometimes you may trade performance for <coughs> uh, compactness for energy efficiency, but it's <coughs> not in our case. We uh, do it uh, in one solution. And uh, we uh, work uh, as a system integrator, so we uh, not provide just technology for someone to use, but we actually build systems at the customer sites and we uh, work with the customers directly. Uh, <coughs> We are happy to uh, see that uh, now we are in the top 10 vendors, uh, uh, HPC vendors according to the top 500 list data, uh, and the number 9. <coughs> uh, we are uh, a key player on the Russian high performance compute market, and uh, mm, we are one of the key players in the EMEA region, and uh, uh, we are, for example, the first to deploy a uh, Xeon Phi solution outside of the USA, and we are working actively to the technology development and uh, improvement. <coughs> uh, we have a strong market position on Russia, as I said. Uh, we provide approximately 40% uh, uh, <coughs> uh, according from uh, on the top 500 list of Russian systems on the top 500 list. Uh, that varies slightly from the uh, 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 issue to issue of the top 500. Uh, we usually hold uh, the uh, most energy efficient rank of the computers uh, on the, according to the green 500. Uh, <coughs> and our architectures hold the good uh, position according to the uh, green 500 uh, uh, worldwide. Um, <clears throat> again, we uh, work actively uh, on the technology development and we are proud that we have uh, some uh, good numbers in terms of teraflops per cubic meter. As far as I know, uh, we hold the world record on that. Uh, we <coughs> uh, have the 1.2 petaflop solution per rack. Uh, we, uh, as far as I know, again, uh, we hold the uh, power density record of 400 kilowatts per rack. <coughs> uh, that is for Petastream and for cluster-based solution, uh, uh, that is the Tornado family. Uh, we also have uh, very impressive figures in terms of teraflops uh, and density of uh, per cubic meter. As well, since we uh, use the uh, direct liquid coolant solutions, we have uh, the good uh, overall efficiency like PUE, power <coughs> usual efficiency metrics, about 1.06. Um, <coughs> well, what projects we have done? Uh, our customers are uh, <coughs> mostly from the uh, science and education field. Uh, <coughs> uh, like. Uh, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, that is our uh, most recent and uh, the most powerful system. Uh, then uh, other customers are uh, Joint Supercomputer Center uh, of the uh, Russian Academy of Sciences. Russian Academy of Sciences is the uh, organization for uh, basic research that has been established uh, more than 250 years ago. And then uh, now the uh, GSCC is the resource center for the old research institutes. Uh, uh, Russian Academy of Sciences holds um, uh, about 100,000 of researchers and anyone can apply for the research of GSCC to conduct research. 
Um, other um, is the uh, largest university in terms of students, South Ural State University that is placed in Chelyabinsk. Uh, <coughs> uh, Russian Weather Forecast Agency that is not explicitly uh, the <coughs> uh, educational research, but they are doing research, but the <coughs> most important job is to provide uh, daily and hourly forecast for the weather across Russia, that is a large territory, and we are proud that our system was used to conduct uh, weather forecast for Olympic Games. Uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> again, uh, we, uh, but we are not uh, closed in the uh, academic uh, uh, sector. We have customers from oil and gas, from computer graphics, from energy sector, aviation, and so on. Um, <coughs> some examples, uh, more details about our projects. Uh, the St. Petersburg Polytechnic University system. Uh, it, uh, we provided two, compo two key components, uh, ROC Tornado and ROC Petastream. ROC Tornado is uh, our cluster-based solution. Uh, based on uh, Intel Xeon E5 V3 Haswell cores, uh, more than uh, 830 teraflops, uh, <coughs> uh, about 800 nodes. Uh, of Xeon 5 of different configurations, all with the, our liquid cool design and uh, uh, different add-ons for these uh, for these nodes for different purposes: compute nodes, visualization nodes, remote desktop nodes, cloud nodes, and so on. And other component is our Cipeta stream. Uh, that is the uh, uh, about uh, <coughs> 270 teraflops with uh, Intel Xeons. Uh, Intel Xeon Phi's. That is a massively parallel architecture. I will uh, speak about more details a bit later. Uh, uh, and it uh, implements uh, uh, at scale the energy efficient and compact solution with the record characteristics. And uh, as well, for example, it uses the uh, uh, new uh, uh, infrastructure for uh, 400 volt DC direct current. Other components include the uh, melanox and finiband fabric and uh, shared parallel storage. One is for uh, mostly parallel jobs, uh, one petabyte fluster storage and uh, half petabyte of cloud storage based on, based on service. So, uh, uh, the and JCC RAS system that we provide uh, is the MVS 10P supercomputer. Uh, it uh, has 800, um, 200 nodes that we have installed in 2012 with Xeon 5s, it's E10X. Um, each node uh, has uh, two, uh, two processors and two coprocessors. Uh, all uh, work together. And last year we have installed uh, a complement for this uh, based on our Cipita stream next generation platform with uh, Xeon Phi 7120D. Uh, <coughs> uh, that features uh, again, uh, that is the um, uh, test bed for this new technology and uh, to uh, test the per application performance, develop software, and so on. Altogether, that uh, provides a substantial compute uh, resource to the JSCC RAS, that is the, one of the key uh, HPC centers in Russia. Uh, <coughs> and aggregate performance is over 600 teraflops. Uh, the other important uh, project that we have done over the many years, uh, that is the SOF Ural State University uh, Supercomputing Center. And the first system, or the first contract was signed in 2009. And uh, that system uh, survived uh, a set of upgrades. So first, was, first system was based on Nehalem, when we upgraded it to Westmere uh, and added more nodes. And uh, <coughs> uh, what is important, uh, and then uh, it's, uh, we upgraded it uh, two more times with uh, Xeon FICO processor nodes. What's important to uh, <coughs> say is uh, uh, the 
liquid distribution system and liquid uh, cooling infrastructure was expandable, so we were able to uh, uh, expand this uh, um, uh, system uh, fitting the customer needs for more uh, performance. So now it's seven compute tracks and three support tracks. You see five of the compute tracks here, and uh, that is the uh, supplementary racks for air cooled equipment like storage, InfiniBand switches, and so on. Um, sometimes we invite world experts to visit our facilities. You may recognize Jack Dangar here and here. Uh, <coughs> uh, we uh, demonstrated him uh, our technology, and uh, that is in the Chirabinsk, and that is the, the Joint Supercomputer Centers. And uh, here are some uh, warm words about <coughs> uh, what we have done. Um, that's, uh, that is the slide about our technology evolution, how we started uh, with uh, 96 nodes and 52 kilowatt per rack. And, uh, in 2012, we uh, <coughs> devised the RSC Tornado architecture with 100 kilowatt per rack, with different options with or the, without coprocessors, uh, 128 uh, nodes with compro uh, without coprocessors, and 72 heterogeneous nodes with, with coprocessor design. And in 2013, we have devised the RSC Peta stream architecture with unique characteristics in terms of uh, compute density, uh, up to 1.2 petaflops or per one rack, meter by meter rack, and 400 kilowatts of power dissipation. Uh, a, bit <coughs> a few more words about our technology. Uh, now we have two lines. Mm, one is RSC Tornado. Uh, that is the uh, uh, compute cluster design, basically. Uh, that is a sample of our installation. So we have three compute nodes with the liquid cooling uh, with the liquid cooled compute nodes that <coughs> contributes to the bulk of the power consumption of the system. And one, uh, two uh, semi-occupied rack for the future expansion uh, for <coughs> uh, equipment like storage, switches, and so on. That is uh, complementary and doesn't make sense. Uh, they don't consume a lot of the electricity comparing to the compute nodes, so it doesn't make sense to uh, make them <coughs> uh, liquid cooled. And that is the visualization of our uh, meter by meter cabinet for our recipita stream. Uh, <coughs> that is uh, petaflop in the rack, massively parallel architecture. And they will uh, speak more details about what we uh, do. Uh, RSC Tornado. So that is the diagram uh, of how we uh, build the system. We take uh, commodity com components. Uh, like processors, server boards. Uh, we add our cooling solution that is actually the uh, cold plate design, designed for specifically for uh, this server platform. Uh, but the server platform itself is commodity. What, that is important. Uh, so uh, we benefit from the uh, larger, uh, better uh, <coughs> availability in terms of price and the lead times. Uh, and uh, uh, the flexibility of the configuration as well. Uh, we uh, may play with different processors, different memory, mm, uh, different memory configurations. Uh, the node, the server itself, can be augmented with the expansion pack. I will speak about it on the next slide. Then it, they are combined in one rack, and then rack are assembled into the system. One compute cabinet can hold up to 128 heterog homogeneous nodes without coprocessors or expansion packs, or up to uh, uh, 71, uh, 72 nodes of the uh, uh, nodes augmented with the coprocessors or other expansions. <laughs> 
So solution is flexible, we can uh, uh, <coughs> combine them in one solution to fit the customer needs, what is necessary, as we have done, uh, for example, in the Polytechnic University project. Um, so now we uh, uh, we started with the coprocessors, Xeon Fires, but now we have different options. We have uh, coprocessor boards, we have uh, 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 expansions for extra uh, communication, extra uh, <coughs> interconnect board, uh, interconnect cards. Uh, other options are uh, fast storage, PCI Express sto solid state drives, uh, three-dimensional discrete graphics like NVIDIA chips uh, for desktop virtualization and so on. Um, <coughs> so we uh, can configure that solution for different uh, purposes, for example, for big data or for compute or uh, for d uh, desktop virtualization, for uh, workstation vir virtualization and so on. Um, now, more details about our RSC Petastream solution. Uh, the performance density is uh, uh, 560 teraflops per cubic meter. As far as I know, that is the world record for x86 compatible systems. Uh, we uh, leverage all our expertise that we accumulated over the years of installing real life. Uh, liquid cooled solutions at the customers and without that expertise we were not able to do that to do that design so uh, basically we are based on Xeon Phi we assemble uh, the uh, Xeon Phi's in uh, one uh, compute model each compute model is actually the uh, server with uh, two PCI Express switches and uh, each uh, of Xeon Phi is connected to, to these switches. Four, four Xeon Phi uh, to, to the switch. Uh, uh, and this module uh, provides the basic infrastructure in terms of the cooling, in terms of the uh, <coughs> external connectivity, interconnect. We have four ports of the InfiniBand here. Uh, here there's, uh, there's a quick disconnect for liquid cooling and uh, we have four ports of uh, uh, gigabit Ethernet to build management network and so on. So that is a uh, flexible solution. As well we can install on the model level, we can install uh, up to two solid state drives. So aggregate uh, the, uh, uh, the solid state drives can contribute a lot to the performance of the storage of, for, for the supercomputer. Um, again, uh, we will have to. We uh, had to innovate in turn uh, for the power di uh, distribution system because uh, the <coughs> on that scale and that compute den uh, power density, we were not able to <coughs> rely on the third-party uh, power supplies. Uh, here, uh, that compact module uh, about 50 centimeters. Si uh, centimeters, uh, it uh, dissipates about uh, two kilowatts of power. Uh, on that, uh, so standard, uh, if, we, if we would use standard components, half of the uh, uh, model would spend just for the power supply. Uh, so we designed effective power supply using uh, innovative uh, direct current 400 volt um, uh, electric distribution. And then on the rack level uh, in design we have uh, a double-sided design, uh, a double-sided rack. Uh, in front and in back uh, we have 40, um, 64 modules on one side of the rack and 64 modules on the back side. So uh, in aggregate we have uh, 1,024 nodes or Xeon files, and that design we uh, no more consider the modules or servers as nodes, but we consider Xeon files as nodes. And we uh, uh, see that uh, these Xeon files can be used uh, in the native mode of Xeon Phi as <coughs> 
uniform uh, field of the uh, compute nodes uh, uh, from the application standpoint. Uh, so, <coughs> uh, more details about cabinet. So, uh, total this is one square meter, uh, 2.2 cubic meters, and uh, <coughs> uh, 128 modules aggregate in one rack. Uh, our and the, we have a liquid distribution system and power distribution system integrated into one cabinet. Uh, again, the level of parallelism is enormous. So we have uh, a quarter million of threads. Uh, sim simultaneous threads of execution supported by hardware uh, just in one rack. Uh, our uh, preliminary tests uh, demonstrated that one cabinet of our CPTA stream is equivalent in terms of the performance uh, of eight of our racks uh, <coughs> of our RC tornado design, but at half of the power to solution in terms of um, we used it, uh, some tests in the molecular dynamics, uh, <coughs> and uh, but I will uh, go into the detail uh, about the performance characterization. So actually, we are now we are open for collaboration the, in the uh, running different uh, application packages on our hardware. We use it our laboratory test bed for running different codes. Yeah, here we listed some of them. Uh, for example, uh, we use it uh, Magma MIG library for uh, uh, doing some linear algebra tests. Our partner from the uh, Siberian branch of Russian Academy of Science, this is from Novosibirsk, they developed a code that is called Astrophy, that is the uh, <coughs> simulation of uh, gas flow dynamics on the uh, scale of galaxies. So, uh, <coughs> and uh, that code is optimized for using FIES processors, and uh, we uh, use it, the, uh, and they are <coughs> actively working with us on the, the performance uh, of uh, the, uh, the code. As well, uh, we used uh, we are working with our partners, for example, from the chemical department of Moscow State University for uh, tinkering gummies. We try to run uh, Cactus, our partner uh, uh, <coughs> uh, from St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, uh, run uh, Gromax Molecular Dynamics Code on our platform, and I will speak about that in more details on the next slides. So, first of all, I will try to uh, show you some uh, figures about low-level communication. And uh, we compared our uh, performance against the uh, previous generation platform. Standard server uh, with the interconnect cards, it can see that are Xeon files, uh, CPUs, uh, InfiniPen fabric, Xeon files, and we have some asymmetry of communication here. So the green line is the uh, near communication. And far, that's uh, far communication. Uh, <coughs> uh, and that is, uh, contributes a lot to the, uh, some asymmetry of communi uh, uh, communication and some performance degradation of applications that uh, end user may see. Uh, uh, but in our platform, we address these issues, and but again, we have some asymmetry of communication, and my graphs will show you uh, the figures of uh, communication uh, <coughs> on the same color. So the dashed line is the previous generation platform uh, uh, servers with uh, Xeon files and interconnect, and that is uh, just bandwidth available. You may see that, that the <coughs> black line, that's the CPU, that is the baseline of the uh, fabric performance available. You may see that we, <coughs> for, for example, for far communication, we receive only about uh, 200, <coughs> 200 
megabytes only. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> but uh, on the RSC beta stream, our new platform, uh, where we have uh, two PCI Express switches and communication is done independently, not uh, avoiding the communication with the CPU, we saturate the bandwidth available by, uh, <coughs> uh, by fabric. Uh, regarding the <coughs> uh, latency, the latency uh, is higher and uh, for our platform, for RSC beta stream, because of <coughs> the, uh, uh, the uh, lower clock frequency of a Xeon file. So the CPU here is about, may run about 3 gigahertz, and here about uh, <coughs> is about 1 gigahertz. And, uh, but for the message rate, again, we can saturate the uh, communication fabric available uh, uh, for infinite band. So that is the CPU, and that is the, the same, actually the same uh, figure that is available uh, for beta stream, and much lower, uh, about five times, uh, for in the best case, uh, for server-based platform. Uh, <coughs> regarding the uh, linear algebra, Magma, that Magma is a widely uh, known uh, uh, library uh, developed by University of Tennessee for the next generation of the uh, <coughs> uh, many core processors. And on the PETA stream, we have about 60% of the theoretical performance on 5120D. Uh, that is a matrix size, and that is the performance of uh, gigaflops here about was slightly higher than 5 teraflops. And actually the same result on the 7120D. Uh, <coughs> so that's about 60% of the theoretical performance available uh, on 8 uh, Xeon files. Uh, you may say that dense linear algebra is a very easy test, but uh, our partners from uh, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, uh, part of the staff is the uh, member of uh, Gromax development team. They are very uh, proficient with Gromax uh, tuning. Uh, they uh, uh, taken the build uh, portal specifically for Xeon Phi, and use it actual real world uh, research problem that nuclear zone uh, assembly in water approximately 1 million atoms with SM electrostatics not artificially large uh, that is visualization of the molecule uh, <coughs> some um, details about versions and uh, actually on Azeon files the uh, performance is more than four teraflops, so more than 50% of the real application performance on our platform. So I think that's a, a good result for the application. So, uh, conclusion, uh, <coughs> uh, we at RSC, we deal with the very energy efficient and compact solutions. We design it and develop it RSC beta stream architecture that we think contributes a uh, substantial st uh, step towards exascale. If you imagine uh, the uh, beta stream density with the next refresh of the Intel technology, it's about one, 200 tracks, <coughs> maybe slightly less. Uh, so that is a sizable solution, I think. And uh, uh, But the uh, software testing and uh, development is necessary for uh, the future generation supercomputing. Thank you for your attention.